Vegas, how important was it for you guys after a big win earlier in the week to <clears throat> not have a letdown? Um, it, it was huge, um, uh, you know, in that you asked that question, I'm, I'm trusting that you understand why you asked that question, and that was the biggest concern that we had. You know, if we were playing, uh, you know, a top ten team, I wouldn't have been as concerned. Uh, and quite frankly, uh, we got into a lull that was what I was concerned about right the first couple of minutes. We were halfway going at it. And, and so we were, I, I think that the team knew and wanted to do you know, the right thing in terms of stepping it up because we can play far better. Uh, but once that, once that happens, then you're kind of ca caught in a rut. So the only thing we could do uh, is to take the whole group out and bring another fresh group of people in and hopefully they would, you know, just perform at the level that we needed because we know that um, anybody, when, when all they have to do is concern themselves about the one game, just beating us once, you know, or that's true with Connecticut or anything, and that's what makes that's what why I think that Connecticut is so special, because um, they have to bring it every day, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Every single day, and that ain't it's not easy, and the fact that uh, that we've won and and everybody was shocked about it, so they want to find out was that a fluke? Can you bring it? Can you have the same kind of defensive intensity? Can you do these things? And so I'm glad that we had that kind of game. I'm glad that we got through it because we did, you know, overcome. And um, that's great. We don't have a time to do that with our next game coming up with Penn State. Group station, Jordan. Uh, how important was you guys really dominate rebounding, especially when you had those lulls early on? I mean, they were hanging around well into the fourth quarter. Um, I think it was important. That's been like a ma a key factor that we've been focusing on in practice. Um, so to be able to come out there and just try to get as many rebounds as we as we did get, both me and Jordan and the rest of my team. Um, was pretty good for us, and I think it'll help us in the long run, too. Um, I feel like, you know, in the beginning, we really were struggling trying to keep our momentum up, so my mindset was kind of like get in the game and do whatever you can to contribute, and rebounds was a part of that. Mm -hmm. How far has Nova come? I mean, 19 points off the bench. <laughs> you know what? It's kind of interesting. It's, it's really interesting. I think that she, um, it's probably good that she's coming off the bench, to be honest with you. You know, some people, uh, because the expectations aren't as great when you're coming off the bench versus, you know, like when you start. Mm -hmm. uh, and aside from that, she's cerebral in that she's watching to see. Uh, they all know the pattern, so they know what we can call that, that to get them to the shot. But, of course, everything depends on what kind of defense and how they're playing it. Uh, but I think that she felt comfortable. Uh, and f fortunately, she's showing up big time. Uh, in a situation where uh, both Abella and uh, Sierra Calhoun can shoot considerably better, but they haven't. They really just haven't. But that's good because Noga is showing up. Mm -hmm. So let's trust that um, that both Sierra and Abella are going to come, you know, give us the shooting that we fully expected. And then that allows, you know, like um, Noga to... Mm -hmm. uh, to relax. So, so it, it's fine. Everybody just contributed in the way they can. Uh, it's not going to last long. Sometimes, you know, it seems like it's a big, long drought. Yeah. And But thank God we don't have to stress it as much. And so no, neither one of uh, the players either, uh, Sierra or, um, or, or Avila. Uh, Avila, has to stress it out because there's somebody else. And aside from that, it's not just the outside shot. If you notice in the third quarter, well, we took everything back to the inside. And there was no point in playing anymore. And since they were opening up the zone, uh, it gave us an opportunity to attack. And that's where, why you're complimenting Jordan, because she did do a great job. And um, had they, you know, um, had they played it otherwise, then maybe we would have done something different. But, uh, but it was good to see that she showed up. I'm really happy for her and for us, um, because I'm sure that the team will feel better with what she's got to do. Jordan, I apologize for the kind of aspect of Jordan of what uh, I'm sure you felt, you know, uh, Victoria's not going to play today or maybe play very little. Uh, uh, what do you think was the difference for you today to be able to kind of come in, produce, come back in again after sitting a while? What was kind of the difference uh, today? Um, that? 
for me personally, I just you know, wanted to stay focused. Um, I know my team, we were struggling in the beginning, and my mindset literally the whole time was just like begin and just try to contribute in any way. You know, just rebound. If you get the opportunity to score, just make sure you focus, take your time, and just finish. And that was my mindset the whole time, just contribute. Hey, coach, did you have to uh, let Jordan know, you know, tonight? Possibly likely your number may get called uh, sooner than later. Did you have to tell her that? <laughs> well, it wasn't like that quite. It was like this. Um, we can hype up Brown, okay? And I think the coach did an excellent job, and those players are to be commended. Mm -hmm. um, but for me to sit there and try to play games <coughs> with this team when they play, just got finished playing Maryland, is a joke. So, so, so what I'm saying to you is my appeal to this team is that, look, look, we've worked too doggone hard, and we have. We've gone through too much so far. And to have beaten Maryland at Maryland, then let's not play games because these are the straws that can really trip us up. With that said, it was the responsibility of Stacia, Vicky, who I didn't know wasn't going to play. Vicky was, Vicky was sick. She was at the doctor's today. But it's their jobs to get, um, uh, to do the right thing, to play the game the way it needs to be played so that Jordan is not under stress. You know, that T baby or nobody else that's coming off the bench is under stress. You know, and um, I just felt that I knew that I was going to play her, everybody, and, and generally I do, um, but our games have been so tight. And so now it gives me a level of confidence more. She knows that she can get up down. She knows how to post it up. I think the team is confident in her. But um, I think she knows, and especially when you get the Big Ten, uh, I, I was just asking Stacia as we were coming, I said, were you tired a little bit? Yeah, because she had to carry the whole load, you know, uh, with one play in a perimeter position, and then, uh, you know, trying to get it done on the defensive side as well as rebounding. So, um, but they've got a nice battery of players on the inside, I think, that can really help us in a big way. You like where you guys are at? I mean, now the non-conference is over, it's kind of that, Michael was talking about the gauntlet of Big Ten play. Do you like where your team's at going in the conference? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't? You know, I mean, we are happy about that. Um, and, and, and maybe to some extent, everything was necessary, i.e., maybe the losses that we had in Canada were necessary uh, because we need to find out a lot of things about ourselves, you know, our character, who we are, how we handle things when someone is persistent and they stay right there, you know, on our neck. Uh, and, and, and who recognizes what needs to be done and shows up in a big way. There, there's a couple of people that, that I know that are much more offensively oriented, and yet um, the comment that they made to me is that, you know, we, we probably wouldn't have won had I not played defense. And I thought, yeah, that's what should be happening anyway. But the truth of the matter is I'm happy that she recognized that, and she did take pride in her defense. And I think that we all take pride in our defense. And um, no, I, I think that everybody was genuinely happy. Um, yeah, and, and we just need to get as many people ready for this season. Who knows who's going to get hurt? We've been hurt so much this year. Who knows, you know? Uh, and let's say if Stacia needed to take a break, you know, like if we had a game behind the Penn State game, then maybe she wouldn't have to play but 10 minutes if um, somebody else is able to, to, to step in and so it's, it's about all of us you know helping in any way that we can but I, I'm happy. The last one for me, uh, the zone offense, uh, how would you say where it is, uh, 33 is attacked which is a season high. I know, yeah, I'm, I'm irritated about that so I'm one of, I'm, I'm really irritated about that <laughs> but 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 what I do know is that uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do better and I blame myself. That wasn't the team, yet. I blame myself. Uh, it's to say it's not enough to demonstrate what, what we're talking about is, is for real. Uh, I thought that they did. Let me give you an example. We were running uh, what, what this team we know as a three guard. And when we would run that pattern, they would close that off. <coughs> so then we ran it as a four guard. You know, um, we, and, and the other part is that there were some other thoughts that we could have done because we had a lot of things we can run. But the problem is that we don't know, all of us, so to speak, don't know where everybody needs to move. Mm -hmm. And to that extent, to that extent, um, that, happened in the, that happened in the Ohio State game. You know, um, you know, do you screen for this 
or you set a flare or whatever, you know. So, so it's our job to make sure that everybody's comfortable and for us as a team and uh, as coaches to make sure we identify. I was sharing with the team that uh, when I was at Cheney first and we went to the first uh, championship, one of the captains used to ask, you know, we would have practiced, and there was a time when you, there was no limit in terms of the uh, kind of time that you could practice. And one of the players would say, Coach, could we please go over this 32 press again? Mm-hmm. And I would think, why did they? Because I know that she knew, but she wasn't asking for herself. She wanted to make sure that everybody on the floor, one wasn't embarrassed because of what they didn't do, but she was asking the question to make sure that we were doing it right. So, um, and I think that uh, those are the signs. That we'll, we'll be fine. We will, we will be fine. I'm, I'm happy, but um, happier when we address Penn State. Just to change gears, I know you've been preparing for a game today. Okay. Uh, Larry Davenport, the whole situation has become like a national story. A lot of outrage. I mean, where, how, what do you, can I? Let me tell you something. I would have been on that. I, I talked to the parents because I have, you know that I have friends in ESPN and whatever. Yeah. Um, New York Times and the whole thing. And, and I had tuned my friends who could have written this up in a big, big way. But, but you know, mom and dad, uh, they just didn't want to talk about it. You know, they, they, and I don't know why they thought it, was, it wasn't going away. It just wasn't going away. And, and, and Maury hadn't done a doggone thing except receive the check from doggone USA Basketball. Mm-hmm. It was grown-ups' fault. Mm-hmm. And grown-ups did not lay claim to that. And the sad part about it is there was one other kid from, uh, I think it was Missouri. Uh, she went to Marquette. She got her check. She hadn't even paid him back yet. Mm-hmm. Maury sent the money back the next day. She's a great kid, a great student, a great kid. She did try to do the right thing. And then the Alabama Association, are you kidding me? And this girl was up for player of the year, mm-hmm. all American. And, and how could you do that? You know, how could you do that? And, and so, you know, I wish, that I, I wish dad and mom would have just said, let me jump on this for her because it, it hurts me to see a young person really being hurt like that and adults who are hiding behind a state rule. But the question is, who are the adults that should have addressed it in the first place? Did they tell the mother and dad? And, and I would venture to say that probably none of you guys even knew that there's a rule in your state that says you can't pick up, you know, you, if you were playing for a national team. Mm-hmm. Probably didn't. Think about this. If it was a state, you know, like a regional thing, you know, then maybe you would know. But it was for USA Basketball. Mm-hmm. That's the next thing to the Olympics. That's the road that you tra- travel on the Olympics. And they turn around, and, and uh, Alabama decides that they were going to supersede that decision. I have a whole lot of things to say about that. And, and Maury is such a sweetheart that she would never say a negative word about anybody, mm-hmm. not the association. USA Basketball felt so bad that they flew from Colorado to go to the, to the meeting. You know, but, but see, you got these people sitting in their suits, and nobody's saying nothing. The only person that's hurt is her. And I, I just don't understand it. I mean, I, I really am upset for her because that's not right. Are you hopeful? I mean, there's a lot of, you know, Jay Billis, there's a lot of attention now. It seems like it's kind of picking up steam. I, mean, I could have called Jay Billis as well as Carol yeah. Stiff. And all these people, all these people connected in every way. She'll tell you. I, I connected all of them. And we were ready. But, you know, like, you got to respect the wishes of the parents. But see, how about her? She's the one. All, every adult, you know what I mean? Like, who steps up? Who protects her? And nobody did. You know, so I'm glad that Jay, you, here's how you can help. You know, reach out to Jay and let him know that, you know, like, you agree 100%. It's not even about me. It's about a human being. You know what I mean? And uh, you too. You can, all, everybody can help. That's just a Rutgers Nation. The Rutgers Nation needs to get back. It's not right. Am I right? Does it make sense? No, that's mm-hmm. not right. Mm-hmm. Period. No, I mean, if I was a young person, I would be ticked. Yeah. You know, and, and USA, and, and you know what? I can't even get upset with USA uh, basketball because they came out. Yeah. They, they attended the meeting. So they said, hey, we made a mistake. Somebody in our office made a mistake, didn't realize that there were only two high school kids on that national team. They did what they could. But the Alabama Association, mm-hmm. and see, they'd already won. Here, here's the thing. You know, they had already won the state championship, right? And they were poised to win another one. Mm-hmm. So once again, politics is involved. Politics is involved. And I, 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 I think it's terrible. And if for any young person, I'd be afraid, any young person 
that's in that state that has those kind of people that don't mind hurting her dreams. That girl has broken her neck to try to be the best that she can possibly be. But I'm glad Jay's on. I'll give him a call.